Hi there. Um, this is a video for parents in Sheffield who have children in primary school who will be going swimming uh, this academic year. Uh, my name's Emma Banks and I work for the School Swim Service, which is run by Sheffield City Council. Um, and our vision is that every child will be a successful swimmer. Uh, in this little video, we're going to go through some of the reasons why we want children to learn to swim. We're going to look at the national curriculum and, and what it is we're trying to teach them. We're going to look at our aims and objectives as a service. Um, it's just be a short video because I know parents are really busy, so hopefully you've got time to watch. Um, so I'll, I'll go through these, but um, any links and things will be in the comments. And if you have any questions, you can always get in touch. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, the Sheffield City Council's swim service. You know, these are our aims. This is our vision. These are the sort of this is the detail underneath why we do what we do. Um, we, you know, want to provide high quality lessons. We want them to be fun. We want them to be really inclusive. We also want them to be really rewarding. And we see this all the time. Kids come out of the pool buzzing about the skills that they've learned so we really really want to get back to swimming and um, we want to work with our you know our schools we have to work with everyone in this process to enable kids to get the most out of every single lesson um, and we'll look into that a little bit more in a minute and um, you know we think it's a really good skill to learn in order to have a healthy lifestyle into the future and, and access all of the things that swimming allows you to access um, and, and in addition we want it to be value for money so we want every child to be able to swim in as many lessons as possible whilst they're at primary school so what are we trying to teach them so schools have to provide swimming um, lessons by the end of key stage two um, and at the moment schools have got to report on their data of swimming so by the end of key by the end of key stage two so they've got to report on the year sixes um, on their website and that's part of the primary school sport premium funding that primary schools get now at the moment the national curriculum requires us to try and teach children to swim 25 meters confidently we they want uh, children to learn a range of strokes so that means breaststroke or backstroke or front crawl and um, and then also perform a safe self-rescue and on top of all this it's really important that we teach the young people about water safety in various different water-based situations so every week that they come to school swimming the school and our swim teachers will be quizzing the children about um you know all sorts of different aspects of water safety which we'll look at a bit later in the presentation so first of all just a bit of background on on how can we make the lesson really productive so we're trying to get that pupil your child to progress as quickly as possible in every single lesson so that we can you know really teach them more and more skills and make them a more confident and better swimmer by the time they finish their swimming lessons at primary school so we work really closely with the school the school really throw everything into it you know teachers do dry side information for children um, they do lessons they get in the pool a lot of the time um, and the teacher has a massive part to play our teachers our swimming teachers ensure that the lesson is quality it's planned it's progressive it's right for every child so they have to differentiate a lot because obviously in every class we get some children who can swim all the way through to children who've never set foot in a pool in their lives so we make sure that that lesson is of as high a quality as possible and the other thing that impacts is time in the water so that's down to how many lessons the school buys but also other things like if they've done any lessons at any other time in their life that will have a huge impact and we'll come on to that later in the presentation but first of all as you can see as a parent you're a massive part of this sort of pyramid we've got to make sure that parents are involved and parents are doing everything they can to help that 
pupil progress to help your child progress in their swimming lessons so we'll go on to that in a minute but why are we doing all this well drowning is one of the leading causes of accidental death in children in the UK so we want every Sheffield pupil to be able to get themselves out of deep water should they fall in it um, we have canals in Sheffield we have rivers it's really important that if you know a child falls in the water they have the skills to be able to get themselves out and that's you know that's the the main thing that we're really trying to achieve is to give them a skill that is life it lasts them a lifetime but also will keep them safe if the worst was to happen um so how can you help as a parent so it'd be really great if you could familiarize your child with the venue where they're going to swim so as soon as you know that they're going to swimming lessons ask which venue they're going to um, that we have a YouTube channel and there's video links on that channel which will show you the walkthroughs of how of every single pool so if you know your child is going to be swimming at springs have a look at the springs video and they get to see that even better take them to the pool if you can book into a slot and um, talk to the school make sure you know from the school end you know what's happening um, keep involved make sure your child has everything they need for that swimming lesson your school will send you a kit list and make sure you try it on check it's not too big because if it's too big and it's baggy and it's gaping they will feel really uncomfortable and they're not going to get the most out of the lesson have a little fashion show at home try it on get in the bath make sure it is the right size and that they're comfortable it's really important these little things will make a massive difference decathlon do um a little bag with a towel um and a swimsuit in it um and i think it's 10 pounds it's really good value and really good quality kit so have a look at that if you're struggling to find anything um what else go swimming as a family if you can book in go for a swim as a family and that will re that will increase the productivity of our lessons hugely and mean that your child's so much more confident the next best thing is sign them up to swimming lessons i would get yourself on the list and, get, and if you can get to those lessons obviously that's all extra cost so i understand not all families are going to be able to do that but if you can that will really help um ask school about how your child is progressing and if there is anything they can do to practice at home or when you go swimming as a family uh, they might give you little things that they can work on which would make a massive difference um, if you can't go swimming practice the skills at home go on youtube and have a look to see what other people are doing but even just teaching your child to point toes will make a huge huge difference we get so many children who don't know how to point their toes and the first lesson is wasted trying to teach them just that simple skill so if you can sit them on the sofa at home and teach them what pointed toes means that will be brilliant show them what kicking legs means and if you can show them the streamlined position in addition get to the park and have a run and the more running and walking that you do with your child the better their stamina will be and the fitter they'll be for when they come to the pool um, we really need that your child to be confident in the water and if they're confident already that will make a big difference um, and this just means you know it doesn't if you can't take them to the pool that's fine get them in the bath get them in the shower get water on their face and make them up you know make them see that it's absolutely fine to have water on their face we get so many children who are really scared to put their face into the water and this really holds them back with their progress so if you could do that little bit at home you know get a bowl of water and play blowing bubbles start off um, blowing bubbles and then seeing if they can dip their eyes into the water that would be really beneficial have a bit of fun get wet get the paddling pool out all of that will make a big difference um, and if you can talk about water safety with your child um, water safety we go through lots of different parts of it there's all sorts of things around the about the dangers around water we 
will teach them how to make better decisions to keep themselves safe, but also to know what to do in emergency. Um, and as we've said, drowning is a leading cause of accidental death in children. So if you could go to the RLSS website, have a look there, see what information's on there, that would be really useful. I mean, it might even be good stuff for you as an adult to learn. I know it was when I first looked on it. Um, and it really is interesting information for your child to pick up um, and keep them safe. I hope that you feel a little bit more confident now, but if you have any questions whatsoever, please visit the website, but also get in touch. Um, you can get in touch by um, going to schoolswimming at sheffield.gov.uk, that's our email address. You can go online uh, and we're on Twitter as well, so have a look. Um, and many thanks for watching this to the end. Cheers, bye.